and we're back. I'm going to, I finished up, I kind of <laughs> shut the video off where I told you why I wasn't going to come back. I finished up the muddy uh, track here and with browns. I, I used uh, the, the uh, different shades of brown and I just kind of tapped it into the paint. But now we're going to paint up the gravel. Remember the gravel we had it? We're going to dry brush this granite gray. I'm going to try this granite gray. It's a little, it's a little different color. And I'm going to dry brush it very lightly over my granite, over my uh, gravel pieces. I've got this little, I like using a paper plate. It's just great for drying up the, well, this is kind of a little experiment here. So, uh, but I'm just lightly, oh yeah, that's coming out. I'm just lightly touching that gravel, the highlights of the gravel. And it's coming out to represent the, oh yeah, I, I like how this is coming out. To represent the gravel in the mud. And I was thinking about having to use two or three different colors for this, but you know what? I think I'm kind of liking just this. I like to keep things simple. How's that look, gang? Very easy touch up there. And we're going to do the same over here. I've got my little, I'm just using a granite gray. I'm not getting crazy with it or anything. I'm, I'm dry brushing it very lightly onto the piece where the gravel is. Just where the, where I think the, and I'm telling you right now that I'm very happy with the, with the progress. And it's so simple to make these things. What do you think, gang? I think it looks pretty good. And uh, we're going to come back. And when we get back here, we're going to uh, we're going to apply our borders. We're going to build our borders up, and make them look really sharp, and then we'll add some other features to the to the piece. But right now, that looks pretty good. I can live with this. All right. See you on the flip side, and we're going to finish up with the borders on our piece. Bye for now.